G'day ladies and gents, and just before we get into today's video, I'd like to make a quick announcement regarding War Thunder's esports scene. Yes, that's right, that is a real thing. War Thunder is holding a tournament with indeed a cash prize, so if you want to sign up for that, that'll be in the description below. I'll be casting it along with Mystic Man, and we should have a really good time. There's plenty of stuff for the viewers, there's more than the YouTube Cup, there's a lot of prize money, there are events surrounding it, there are skins, decals titles to be won, stuff to be won in game just by watching, uh, you can even vote for teams, vote for players, and to my surprise, but you know, it's kind of cool, you can even vote to take away or to give people super artillery. Anyway ladies and gents, in the description below and onto the main video. Today, we are looking at the F4 Phantom. Yes, it's been a little while coming. And no, not really because I haven't struggled to get footage for it. It's more because I was kind of hesitant to play it. And now that I have played it, I'm very glad I have. You see, in my opinion, aside from the MiG-19 having way too little drag, the F4 Phantom is actually really good. The only thing it genuinely struggles against at the moment, apart from the MiG-19, is other Phantoms. And you might think that's kind of strange, and, you know, it is. But at the same time, the Phantom is the only thing after the MiG-19 that can match the Phantom. There's nothing else. The T2 can't outrun it. The MiG-21, sure, can keep up with it in a turn. But if you play this thing properly, if you play it true and well, kind of like the Swift, but a little bit less annoying for me, you have a lot of fun. And for some reason, this is the only plane that, that I enjoy playing that plays hard and fast. You can see that the the planes that I, I do enjoy playing are more energy fighters. They're more, you know, the Meteors, the, even the Venom has been really nice to me. Things like the MiG-21 are really good because you can energy dogfight quite well. The MiG-19, especially pre-patch, was one of my favorites. The F-100 you could dogfight in. I found them all really, really fun. But planes like the Hunter F6, even with the SRAMs, and the Supermarine Swift, planes that require you to stay fast and to not lose any energy, I found really, really uh, uh, just uh, laborious to play, for lack of a better phrase. They were just hard and annoying for me to play. It's not that it was a difficult playstyle to master, it's just that it was one, extremely boring, and two, didn't really render me with many kills because I needed to work with my team, and teams in online games aren't really the strongest thing, you know. It doesn't matter what game you play, it could be War Thunder, it could be it could be Rainbow Six, it could be Counter-Strike, it could be World of Tanks. We all, those of us that know the Mighty Jingles, an old War Thunder YouTuber and now a bit more of a World of Tanks, World of Warships YouTuber, uh, you can see just just by watching your average Mighty Jingles video that your team is almost as bad for you as the enemy in some cases, and it is quite hard to play a jet that is extremely fast. Kind of like the F4 Phantom. In the case of the Phantom, it's also quite difficult to play, you know, hard and fast when no one can really be relied on to, to sort of keep you up in the air. You can see that I'm looking basically for a target to to come out onto. I'm looking for something to, you know, swoop onto, something slow, something kind of easy. But at the same time, a lot of other planes can do that themselves. The F-100 can use its missiles to slow someone down. But nothing quite compares the thoroughbred performance of the F-4 Phantom to anything else we have in the game. Sure, the MiG-19 can keep up with it, but as soon as that were, will, I'm assuming it'll eventually get fixed. But once that, let, let's assume that it does. Once it gets fixed, the F4 Phantom will probably be the dominant jet in, in, in RB, without a doubt. It's, once you get used to the, the guns, which you'll see me here absolutely fumble over, it's awful. I really, really suck at these guns. But if you can play fast, you're almost untouchable. If you have a good team, you're certainly untouchable because if you have people baiting for you and you bait for them and you switch, it's more than doable to get good games in the Phantom. The only thing 
that genuinely holds the F4 back is its team. Because the play, the play style is so... It's not that rigid. But to make the most out of it, you have to play rigidly. And you can see there, I got myself a nice gun kill with uh, with mark speed. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself for that, even though it was pretty, pretty lousy. That's another thing. The guns on this plane are literally the best guns on any aircraft. It has the highest burst mass of any aircraft in the game. And yes, I know that the Mi-24 has a higher burst mass of 48 kilos per second of ammunition. This plane doesn't come close, but at the same time, I'm talking about fixed-wing aircraft. So this plane has the highest one-second burst mass of any other plane in the game. And you really use that to your effectiveness. You have plenty of ammo, you have good guns, the guns are fairly accurate, and there's so much that you can do with these guns. You can go after ground targets if you really wanted to, if you were really feeling sort of, you know, special. But um, what I would personally recommend is going fighter hunting. You go, you play fast, you wait for someone to go onto your friendly six, you let your friendly turn, that baits them into losing some speed, and you come in and clean them up. Right now, I am in the position where I need to be baiting someone. You can see there's a phantom that's six kilometers away that is uh, sort of diving on that phantom in the distance, but it's, it's really, really hard to deal with people on your six as a phantom. And that is where the struggle with it lies. If you can stay fast, you can sort of avoid them. And you can see that the hunter has just turned off and it's now going to be me and a phantom if I decide to start turn fighting. But the problem is, the maps in War Thunder are small. And don't get me wrong, that is not a, an entirely bad thing. I would say that having small maps is a really, really good thing for the Phantom. Because this means that you can't always run, sometimes you have to go to altitude, and at the same time, the, the, the way that spotting works with the 32 kilometer maximum, it allows you to not to, to, to find someone who's hiding. And having someone who's hiding is extremely frustrating. But returning to the gameplay, I am in a massive dogfight with this Phantom. And you can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking it easy. I'm using my afterburner in the verticals. I'm avoiding the air brake so I can keep my energy over this guy. And I'm trying to keep my flaps out as much as possible so I can get a little bit of extra turning on him as well as doing a couple of little maneuvers to try and stay out of his guns. You can see the only time that I slap the air brake on is when I go into a dive. And I bait myself, or I bait, bait the enemy perfectly for my teammate. It's perfect. It worked perfectly. This is exactly what you do in the Phantom. You bait for your team, and your team baits for you. Obviously, this isn't going to happen very often. And this is why the Phantom tends to get swamped. But at the same time, it's extremely popular because it's an extremely popular plane in real life. The Phantom is a fantastic plane in War Thunder. It just needs a little bit of practice and a bit of teamwork. Aside from the MiG-19 being quite literally broken, I don't, I don't toss that word around often, but it is in this case literally broken. It has way too little drag. It has too much thrust, and wait for its drag, and uh, sorry, it's it's got too much uh, a drag, uh, not enough drag, and it's got its proper thrust and its proper lift, of, and obviously its proper weight characteristics. So, you know, there's not a whole lot you can really say apart from as long as it gets its proper drag, then it's all good. This thing, however, seems to be, from what I can tell, properly modeled in terms of its flight model. It seems to be able to hold its speed at the correct spot, and it seems to be able to do enough work where it's supposed to. You know, it's meant to be kind of fast and heavy, and that's how it feels. It accelerates exceedingly well. And as soon as the MiG-19 gets put to its proper place, the F-4C will probably be the best accelerating jet in the whole game after maybe the Sea Meteor. <laughs> and let's be honest, the, uh, the Sea Meteor doesn't really have much on afterburners. It's pretty incredible how the F4 Phantom is able to keep its own in situations when it, when it has teammates. 
it, it, working in packs of two or three, F4s are pretty solid. And once the MiG-19 gets fixed, or, you know, blasted by 36 kilograms of explosives, then I think we have a good plane on our hands. It's good. It's not perfect. It's certainly not the meta at the moment, because the MiG-19 just swamps everything, simply because it is literally broken. But if you take into consideration the performance of the Phantom, aside from the performance of the MiG-19s, then you actually have a very strong plane. You play it fast, you play it with your team, you bait for each other, you make sure that you do not stay slow. And you will have fun when you get some practice. It's a really good plane. And it's a lot of fun. But you just need a team. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to sign up for the tournament down below. And also, I've got a couple of other links. Discord, Twitter, etc, etc. I hope you enjoy. Take care. And I'll catch you next time.